Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 14, lesson 9, quadrilaterals. Page number is 925. Before starting today's lesson, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Okay, let us start today's lesson. All quadrilaterals have four sides and four angles. Guys, the last lesson was about triangles. Lesson 8 was about triangles where we were having uh, three sides and three angles. Here, we have four sides and four angles. There are many different kinds of quadrilaterals. We will show you on the next page. Look at this one, first one. It has four sides and it has four angles. You can uh, see by this small square symbol that these are 90 degrees okay and you can see the opposite sides are equal and they are parallel also the opposite sides are equal and parallel these two opposite sides this one and this one they are also equal in length and they are parallel to each other if you guys don't remember the parallel and perpendicular lines you can uh, revise lesson 2 you can watch its uh, video again Okay, so uh, here they're talking about this speed limit sign. There are dash right angles. We can see four right angles. Right angle means uh, equal to 90 degree. Okay, and acute angle less than 90 degree. No acute angle in this figure. Obtuse angle more than 90 degree. No obtuse angle in this figure. Okay, the top and the bottom sides are parallel as i told you the top and the bottom sides they are parallel and the left and the right sides they are also uh, parallel okay so there are four pairs of perpendicular sides perpendicular sides guys you know that uh, when two lines cross each other that like these two lines they are crossing each other okay they are not parallel to each other Parallel lines never meet, okay, like this one and this one, they're parallel. But these two lines, this one and this one, they're not parallel, they're perpendicular to each other. How? They're crossing each other and forming an angle of 90 degree, forming a right angle here. You can see this box, not right angle, okay? Or you can measure it uh, with the D-shaped protector, you guys know that, okay. Let us move to the next page now. Uh, here we have five types of quadrilaterals. The first one, parallelogram. Uh, in parallelogram, the opposite sides are equal and parallel. Okay, This one is equal to this one and parallel to this one. And this one is equal and parallel to this one. So it, the, the characteristics of parallelogram, the opposite sides are equal in length and they are parallel. Okay. In addition, opposite angles have the same size. This opposite angles also have the same size. This one equal to this one and this one equal to this one. Okay. Now, the next thing, a rectangle. Guys, a rectangle is just like parallelogram. Opposite sides are equal and they are of same length and they are parallel. This one also, same length and parallel. There is an additional characteristic in a rectangle. They have four right angles also. Okay. So you can say if you see a rectangle, it is also a parallelogram. Okay. But a rectangle have additional characteristic, which is it has four right angles, as you can see here. Okay. So you can say a rectangle is also a parallelogram. But you cannot say a parallelogram is also a rectangle. Why? Because it doesn't have four right angles. Got it? But rectangle have all the characteristics of parallelogram. Similarly, the next one, rhombus, it also have all the characteristics of parallelogram. Opposite sides are equal in length and they are parallel. Okay. There is an, an additional uh, characteristics of rhombus that all the four sides are of same length so whenever you see 
this shape you can say that it is a rhombus you can also call it a parallelogram got it but when you see a parallelogram you cannot call it rhombus got it because in parallelogram we doesn't have all uh, sides of equal length but here in rhombus we have all sides of equal length okay the next thing square it is just like rhombus and parallelogram okay how like parallelogram opposite sides are equal in length and parallel to each other these two sides are equal in length and parallel to each other okay just like rhombus and uh, parallelogram the second thing another characteristic which is uh, just like rhombus not parallelogram like all sides are of same length okay like rhombus but there is an additional characteristic of square that it has four right angles got it guys i hope you're understanding it has four right angles so whenever you see a square you can call it rhombus you can call it parallelogram you can call it rectangle also how it has all the characteristics of rectangles also like uh, it has opposite sides of same length it have uh, 90 degrees for right angles got it but whenever you see a rhombus you cannot call it a square because rhombus doesn't have the 90 degrees got it so a trapezoid has exactly one pair of parallel sides here you can see just one pair of parallel side these two lines are uh, parallel to each other if you continue them they will never meet each other but these two lines they are not parallel to each other how if you continue them they will meet at a point okay if you continue them see they meet at this point so these two lines are not parallel to each other so uh, what are the characteristics of trapezoid that it just have a single pair of parallel lines the other two lines are not parallel to each other got it guys i hope you understand let us move down now you can see this is a rhombus got it as i told you here rhombus it have all the characteristics of parallelogram so we can call it parallelogram also so here uh, it also has four equal sides so it is a parallelogram and a rhombus okay next one here down square as i told you above a square it is a parallelogram it is a rectangle it is a rhombus and a square let's move to the next page this is a parallelogram opposite sides are of same length and but no 90 degree if we have 90 degree like this we will call it rectangle okay uh, and rectangle is also a parallelogram but parallelogram is not a rectangle trapezoid these two lines are parallel to each other but these two lines are not parallel so one pair of parallel lines a rectangle you can see 90 degrees opposite sides same length equal parallel trapezoid these two lines are parallel these two are not parallel square you can also call it uh, rectangle parallelogram or rhombus okay this one it is a trapezoid it just have one pair of parallel sides four vertices a b c and d okay and there are four line segments line a line segment a b line segment b c line segment c d and line segment d a okay let us move explain why the figure is not a parallelogram because both the pairs of opposite sides are not parallel here a quadrilateral has opposite sides parallel and four yes of course rectangle draw a line segments that form a square so here you can make a square how are square and rhombus alike as i told you on second page of lesson so you can write this i hope you guys understand the lesson and don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel have a nice day thank you so much guys